Hi guys, Evil Communications in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. My friend, cut your friendship with this word. You will say to me, my friends are very nice people and handsome friends, but they are evildoers and live sinful life. If you communicate with them all the time, they will corrupt your mind and your heart, and you will forsake the good manners. James said in James chapter 4, verse 4, You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Friendship of this of the world is enmity with God. Don't convince me that you can be both friend with God and the world, for either you will have the one and love the other, or else you will hold to the one and despise the other. In making friendship with this world, you are becoming enemy of God. So be zealous and repent and stay away from your worldly friends and seek to please your master, Lord Jesus, and to help your fellow servants, your brother and sisters in Christ. In Matthew chapter 25, verse 36 to 40, Naked, and you clothed me, I was sick, and you visited me, I was in prison, and you came to me. Then shall the writers answer him, saying, Lord, when saw you? and hungered and fed you, or thirsty, and gave you drink. When saw you a stranger and took you in, or naked and clothed you, or when saw you sick or in prison and came to you, and the king shall answer and say to them, Truly I say to you, inasmuch as you have done it, one of the least of these my brothers, you have done it to me. So my friend, only make what Jesus asks you to do, to love each other, as Jesus loved us, and your star will shine forever and ever. Jesus bless you. Even so, come, Lord Jesus Christ.